And we have new details tonight in a deadly shooting at a funeral luncheon in Delaware County for a man murdered just days before. Tonight, new video provided to Fox 29 shows the moments the shooter opened fire. Dozens of shots fired, one after the other. Police say one person was killed, three others injured. And Kelly, you have new information on this investigation tonight. So Sheba, police still believe this was a retaliatory shooting connected to a murder in Clifton Heights on Thursday night, but police are now saying they believe this is also connected to an ongoing feud in southwest Philadelphia. They say they are working with multiple agencies to try to piece this all together. I just got finished crying because somebody lost somebody's child was laying on that floor to midnight. New surveillance video provided to Fox 29 captures the moments leading up to a mass shooting at a funeral luncheon in Upper Darby Monday night that left one man dead and three others injured. Police believe a man got out of a dark colored Chevy Malibu around 515 and opened fire. I just heard the gunshots and I just ran to the bed. I'm screaming, calling 911. Rowena Folk owns this now boarded up event space on Long Lane and the daycare next door. Fortunately, she says a lot last child left minutes before the shooting. She says she allowed the family of 39 year old James Ford to use this space for free for the repass. Ford was murdered in Clifton Heights Thursday night, according to police. I was hesitant at first because I'm like, I don't want any problems, you know. So she said just some family, a little family. And I said, okay. Upper Darby police say there were 50 to 100 people at the venue when they responded. They believe the shooting was retaliation from the Thursday night Clifton Heights murder. And now they believe there are ties to Southwest Philadelphia. To use street terms, there's a, there's a beef that's going on amongst a group of people. Uh, the incident that occurred Thursday night in Clifton Heights, there was an incident that occurred in Southwest Philadelphia. And we know that our incident yesterday is tied to that. Clifton Heights police announced that they arrested 25-year-old Burchett King for the Thursday night homicide. Sources say he's the nephew of Ford and that he was in custody at the time of the Upper Darby shooting. Falk now says she has thousands of dollars worth of repairs. I'm not mad that I did it because I do lots of things, feed the homeless, all of that. But of course, I wish it wouldn't have happened. That's all. Upper Darby police say they are still working to identify the tag of that Chevy Malibu and say they will make it public once they're able to recover that from the video. They do still want to talk to witnesses. If you have any information, call police. Sheba. Kelly Rule, thank you. Right